welcome back everyone, Twish is here, and I am back again for yet another Jack specific The Simpsons video, specifically the entire first wave of their brand new 5 inch deluxe Simpsons action figures. Now, all of these go together, I have been saying 4 inch, Jack's touts them as 5 inch, satisfying the masses, we'll just call them 5 inch going forward, and that's the line I'm going to be collecting out of the 2.5 and five inch lines. But with these new deluxe figures, we have three to choose from Radioactive Man, Mr. Burns as a vampire, and of course, Furious Homer. And the boxes are quite large compared to the standard five inch figures. And Mr. Burns definitely has the biggest box out of all of them, and you'll soon see why. It's quite impressive. However, in talking about Mr. Burns, that old vampire, he looks Great. This this brought a lot of laughs when I saw him. He even has a UV activated feature, which I'm dying to try out. Gorgeous artwork and photography of the figure on the sides and on the back of the box. Here's the barcode. Like I said, I found mine at GameStop. So if you are looking, you can start looking there now. Next up, we have Radiation Man. I'm sorry, Radioactive Man. S stupid. But Radioactive Man makes his Wave 1 debut and he has a special light up feature, which looks awesome. Again, just like Mr. Burns, he's got some great artwork, great photography, and he has one heck of a base. I'm very excited to show this one off to you. Here's the barcode. Go pick yourself up a radioactive man. This is this is going to be fun. And then last but certainly not least, we have the incredible bulk himself, Furious Homer. And this one by far is going to be a hit, I think, amongst a lot of you nerds out there but yes the same thing as everyone fantastic photos artwork yada yada here's the barcode you definitely got to go and check these out get a search in if you are a looking so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax make sure to wash your necks just as mr burns requested this is a look at the entire first wave of the new five inch jack specific the simpsons deluxe action figures Vampire Mr. Burns, Furious Homer, and watch out, Radioactive Man, here we go. All right, so we'll kick things off with, of course, a Treehouse of Horror episode, Mr. Burns as a vampire. So we all got invited out to Pennsylvania, and he comes with his huge crypt caskets. And I gotta say... It's giant. When I pull this out of the box, I go, oh, that's why the box is so big. So much detail. You got the claw feet. You got the gargoyles. You got the bat. You got all this brickwork. It's very cartoony, very simplistic. Not much going on on the backside. Just a bunch of screw holes, to be honest with you. But it works beautifully. And that giant emblazoned B right on the top of the casket looks oh so good. But just wait just wait for this this is what brought a smile to my face you notice that big switch right there we'll get yourself all situated and push that and mr burns springs to life out of his casket yeah it's august but we're celebrating october early and that is just so much fun because yes you can still move him around do all that fun articulated vampire mr burns action that you are a craven i know i myself didn't know how much i wanted this but yes he is on a bit of a spring loaded mechanism and he is simply just toggle it back and forth and it's pretty darn cool. That's the kind of fun toyetic ingenuity I like to see, Jack Specific. So my hat's off to you. That is really well done. I could do this for hours, and I might just do that. Maybe that'll be just the rest of this video. But you can remove the figure from that base. He simply just pegs into that mechanism and you have Vampire Mr. Burns. You can set him up with your other five inch figures it's fantastic. I want more. I can't wait to see what they do with Treehouse of Horror. But you see his fangs. <laughs> you have his giant Gary Oldman wig going on. It is a lot of fun. You can tell. I'm having fun with these Simpson figures. I told myself, don't collect them 
And yet, here we are. Now, he does have plenty of articulation, especially in the head and, of course, the arms, single-jointed in the elbows, the wrists, a little bit of a bicep. Does it become too mechanical, is what I'm trying to say. He has a bit of a, a vinyl plastic robe, and he has a little bit of a upper diaphragm, kind of sort of a waist. Nothing, of course, the feet. He doesn't have feet. He's just like a floating entity at this point. But he looks good, so you can get him in his praying hands kind of thing he's gonna get a victim or you can have him do like excellence or any of that it, it's all functional in terms of this figure for mr burns and the paint for what is there is done nicely he's gonna be largely a plastic figure but the base which is kind of a playset in and of itself the casket looks great there's a pillow in there like i said the mechanism really doesn't get in the way but Everything in general looks great. And the idea that this is a giant accessory, so to speak, but really it's a playset in a box. And I hope to see more figures. But one thing, as much as I love this figure, we have to check out this UV activated skin. This is what I've been really looking forward to. So in putting him into direct sunlight, let's say at least through a window in your home, the effects were kind of subtle. And I guess it's along the lines of like the dinosaur sponges, that kind of thing, where you think one thing. I don't know what I really expected here. It kind of shows you on the box. But in the case of in the home, through the window, it's a very subtle discoloration, not crazy. More so on the neck than anything. I kind of noticed it on the forehead, maybe kind of, sort of. But oddly enough, what I did notice more of is the spots on Mr. Burns's head. So those became a little bit more prominent, even if they're there 24-7. But I finally noticed them. So that did have a good result as of doing this. However, I took Mr. Burns outside proper, and that's when I noticed that it's direct sunlight. You really start to see a darkening, like a crispiness of the skin, kind of, sort of. The effect is not exactly what, in my mind's eye, I was like, he's going to just set a flame, right? That kind of thing. No, he just kind of darkens a little bit on the hands, the face, the neck, that sort of deal. So ultimately, it's not mind-blowing, but the fact that they just decided to put something like that in it because he's a vampire, that's pretty cool. I did try using a black light just for fun, like a UV1 light. That makes him creepy and makes for, I'm assuming, a good Halloween decoration, especially with the giant casket playset that you get. It works with all the Simpson figures. Just FYI, Otto looks particularly cool, so you can check him out with your black light. But yes, you can try various looks, various things. Take him outside. That's what you're supposed to do. Get him some sunlight. Get him all Superman charged and see the effect. But yeah, it, it's honestly one of those like, Oh, yeah, there it is. That's that's cool, I guess. Now, next up, we have Claude Kane the third, or we could say it's Dirk Richter. But in either case, we have an awesome, awesome radioactive man. And I'm so stoked because he's one of my favorite characters within the Simpsons universe. Now, this surprised me, Jack specific. You have a display stand armature to clip radioactive man into the base it has dual segmented articulation it's all ratcheted which is a nice touch and it is very sturdy as you'll soon see as it plugs into the base speaking of the base totally takes me back to the episode three men in a comic book november 1952 10 cents radioactive man number one that rocks created a hero you got the explosion you have amazing origin issue and then you have a peg at the front when you want to clip radioactive man onto that now there's definitely not much going on on the back or the bottom the primary party exists only on the front but what's really cool again is if you take that armature piece and you plug it in you can definitely get radioactive man a flying around speaking of which radioactive man is now probably my Favorite figure out of the Simpsons line thus far, the five inch line. He's articulated pretty decently. There are a couple things I would have liked to have seen them do. I will show you all that in just a few, but 
in every sense of him being a superhero with all the various accessories that he would need, the paint accents, the light up feature, which I'm totally stoked on. The articulation is fairly simplistic, but very cool for this type of figure. He has a really cool yellow cape as well. It's a nice thick rubbery yellow cape. And so in looking at the back, you can remove this plastic piece that will activate the battery. I always keep it. I always have them plugged in if I'm not using the figure or whatnot, just to be on the safe side. Move that off to on. You can also swap out the batteries if you want with a screw hole right there. Just get yourself a screwdriver if the batteries ever run out and just be prepared. But in terms of the articulation, the head, I really wish you could put it back to get him more in that flying position because it will just turn left and right. Bicep swivel, arms go all the way up, single jointed elbows, lots of articulation, lots of fun articulation for the character of Radioactive Man. Nothing in the waist, unfortunately, probably due to the light up function that he has. Single jointed knees, they do not spin. And just to double check, no, there's no spin at the knee, but he does have feet that will go up, down, left, right, and rock around. That's pretty cool. So in that sense, yeah, I think that's enough articulation. Mine is the head. I really wish you could get him looking up. But as you'll notice right here, there's a button on his belt. And when you push it, his radioactive man symbol lights up, and I absolutely love that. And it will stay on for roughly about 15 seconds or so. And as you'll notice, it starts to kind of count down one part of the symbol at a time. And I think that is so darn cool. We'll just do it again just for fun. But yes, from an articulated action figure to an awesome base to then a light up feature, that's what you need for Radioactive Man. And at 25 bucks, I am stoked to have this figure. Because like I said, you take this figure, you plug him into the base, get him all heroically posed. That is such a cool diorama set right there. That's perfection. Or the option is to get him flying, kind of, sort of, like how he is on the first issue comic from the old Simpsons episode. So you can reenact that if you'd like. You can't really get the head up. That's one aspect. A little bit of a rocker somewhere in the chest really would have been ideal, but then you negate that electronic aspect inside the chest. So it's kind of a give or take. So I do like that it has a light up feature you could get him flying pretty well. It is The Simpsons after all. I'm not going for, oh man, it has to be utter perfection. It already is. It's very cool. Again, you can use the armature to get him up, down, left, right, kind of get him in your face if you want to drag him down a little bit more, get him flying up higher. The light-up feature, everything about this rocks. This is a home run through and through. Well done, Jax Pacific. And then finally, we have Furious Homer, Homer as the Hulk. Bart's been making those Angry Dad cartoons and has finally set Homer over the edge. So you get <laughs> and the fact that this is an accessory. You get the inflatable pool. There's no water, nothing. You could fill this up with green paint all you'd like if you desire. But I love that this is an accessory. And speaking of green paint, yes, you get a bucket of it. So again, that's what's fun. A little bit more paint maybe on the handle really would have gone a long way. Just saying, not a big deal, but you simply just dump that green paint in that pool and then you get to looking at the fence. He comes with a giant piece of the Simpson home fence and it's all breakaway. And again, for 25 bucks, that's what they put in the box and I could not be more stoked because you basically recreate that entire scene and the fence is quite large. That's what's really cool. I would anticipate Jack Specific making a build a house at this point if they're going this far already with wave one. I love it and I love how not every single piece of the fence breaks away but enough of it does and it does so beautifully. Now Homer Simpson himself covered in green paint at his wits end. He has too many stress balls on the back of his neck. That's something I really wish would have been there, Jack Specific. I get why you didn't put it in there. You'd have to have a whole new mold and all that. But the stress balls on the back of his neck would have been a nice touch. But hey, this uh, figure is still pretty good. You're going to get some rotation in the head, left, right, nothing crazy. 
for the paint itself, I would say mine is pretty well done. And like I always say, if you get a chance to go through a few at the store, just look closely, make sure you get yourself a good copy. But he's largely an all green figure and they put some yellow paint on him and it totally works. <laughs> and that's what's funny is that this figure does have a lot of paint on him and it looks really good in hand. That's one thing that I could definitely say without question of a doubt. Like it's cool. The articulation is solid, especially in the legs. You can get him kind of crouching down doing the whole Hulk scream. He's got some ankle rock pivot hole on the bottom of his foot. And what I like about it is that all the paint wraps around no matter what front to back. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything at the waist. But again, I would think that that might mess with the whole uh, gimmicky articulation that they have. Now the arms, he'll have bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and you can move the wrists. But you undoubtedly been noticing if I move one arm, the other arm moves with it. And that's because on the back is a button, which is actually pretty well hidden. When you activate it, he goes into Homer Simpson Hulk rage mode. And that's part of the fun. It looks like in different angles, he's just lost it. He's screaming as only... Dan Castellaneta can do with Homer Simpson. For that alone, that's what makes me laugh. That's why this is such a cool set. Because let me just set the stage for you. Bart has just outdone it. Homer Simpson, he's tied up. He's being dragged to the pool. He's got his scissors out. And he falls right into the kiddie pool full of green paint. And emerges as the incredible bulk. <laughs> Furious Homer and as such he's ready to wreck the fence and escape and murder Bart for all that he has put him through over the past week with all the cartoons and that's where the fun of destroying the fence comes into play so Jack specific much like I talk about your Mario figures you've recreated not only just Mario games and the fun of that but the fun of a scene of a Simpsons episode you're rocking it. This is a lot of fun. And again, to say 25 bucks gets you everything in this box for what you're getting for 25 bucks these days, that is just so darn cool. Now, for those of you wondering, how do these stack up next to the standard five inch figures? And to answer your question, yeah, they all go together beautifully. So I would say if anybody kind of is a standout or maybe the body type's a little bit off, it would go to Radioactive Man, but that is his body type. He's completely different. He is a comic book hero amidst the Simpsons universe. So for that alone, that totally works for me. But yeah, I would say everybody works thus far. And to say that again, Mr. Burns's coffin is a little bit of a playset when we start getting more of the Simpsons family members. If we start getting more Treehouse of Horror figures, which I hope that we do, and I hope that they just go to town with all these gimmicky features, that's a lot of fun. Bart with Radioactive Man. Yeah, you can't beat it. Hey, maybe one of these days we'll see a Bart Man. Maybe that will be coming for Wave 2. We never know. We just never know if that's coming or not. And with the giant fence... Perhaps it's the fence at Springfield Elementary. Perhaps Bart is going to be messing with groundskeeper Willie pulling a prank. You're really kind of building out a world of Springfield here, so to speak, and I want to see more of it. With the old Playmates Toys world of Springfield with the comic book guy shop, I wish I had the Stan Lee figure that NECA Toys did. But yes, that would undoubtedly go well with his hulked out Homer. You could have Radioactive Man in the comic book shop. Heck, he could just be a standee in your comic book shop if you wanted it to be. But yeah, he looks great, I'd say, with all the comic books that share his name. And to show you the difference and have the Rainier Wolf Castle and then you have Millhouse's Fallout Boy. Yes, this new Jack Specific radioactive man is through and through the comic book character or you can say it's Dirk Richter the TV actor but I'm gonna go more comic book over anything and it's not canon by any means but if you have the collector and you have this new radioactive man essentially you could potentially say you have a villain for radioactive man to fight even though the collector is is giant compared to this Jax figure so 
that will wrap it up for my look at this brand new deluxe wave of the Jack Specific, The Simpsons 5-inch action figure line. They nailed this. This is a lot of fun. Now, they are double the price from the standard 5-inch, but you get a ton in the box and you get an action feature or a light-up function with each of the figures and that is A-OK in my book. You're recreating the things we see on the television show, The Simpsons. It makes me laugh, makes me smile. You've succeeded through and through, Jack Specific. I don't know if you could really change anything. What I do know is I want to see more. I cannot wait to see what you're going to do for the later lines of these deluxe figures. I'm... In all the way. Again, I said I wasn't going to collect these 5-inch Simpsons figures. I'm not going to collect 2.5-inch. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything The Simpsons. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, the day is saved. But for how long? And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.